Now is the moment to wake from sleep. The night is far gone, the day is near. Lay aside the works of darkness and put on the garment of light. Wake up now. What was is gone. It is a new day, full of infinite possibility. What does God offer us in this moment? Some people are saying, I can't wait to get back to normal. What is normal? you wish everything would be exactly as it was last year? What if instead of trying to get back to what we remember as before, we wake up to what is now? Not to have a destination, but to be fully alive and aware of the bigger picture God is showing us. Only when we are fully awake and aware of the joy of God within and around us can we move into God's healing strength and vision. Fully awake doesn't mean understanding all the solutions to life's challenges or knowing exactly what to do in every moment. Fully awake means opening our eyes and seeing life through God's eyes. We lose the sense of dread, frustration, fear, or exhaustion. We gain a perspective of joy in the moment, vision for what can be, and the strength to offer our help to the world within our own sphere of influence. When you travel to a new place, don't you wake up and begin to live your day in a new way? You know you need to clean up, but you don't know how the shower works, and you have to figure it out. You know you will need to eat, but don't know if there's a restaurant in the building, next door, or if you'll need to walk a distance. You arrive at the cafe, but have to study the menu to see what's available. Eggs are not prepared in the same way, or the dish you hope to order has a different name in this cafe. Everything is new. Isn't that part of the reason you travel? To wake up? To experience something new? I once knew someone who liked to travel, but only in familiar places. He would go to states he'd never been to before, but he'd only stay at the same chain motel that he was familiar with. And when he ate out, he'd only eat at the same chain restaurant whose menu he had memorized. That way, there were no surprises. On the other hand, when I was very young, my husband and I decided to walk a loop of the Appalachian Trail in New England. When I heard the word trail, I thought, well, it should be easy walking, well marked. I was in for a few surprises. As we hiked through the forest, I realized some of the trail was straight up a cliff face, and some of it was through forests where the trail was difficult to keep track of, but it was beautiful, and we enjoyed it. We thought we were getting near where the village was that was our destination, and every time we came around a corner, there were more trees and more rocks. So we got to saying, it must be just around the next corner, or maybe it's just around the next corner. We enjoyed the walk, the meadows, the birds, the trees. And then we heard a waterfall, and we thought, uh, let's go see what that is. We went to the waterfall and saw a pond at the bottom. We decided we'd go skinny dipping in the pond, which we did, and we enjoyed our time there. Then we got out, put our clothes on, and sure enough, the village was right around the next corner. What a surprise. Each day offers us new life. When we open our eyes and ears to God and all that life offers, we are surprised and delighted by what we find. We are not disappointed that things aren't the same, but discover new possibilities around every corner. This requires a shift in perspective. 
leaving behind the works of darkness, as Paul says, and putting on the garment of light puts everything that would have looked familiar in a radiant new light. This may be a time not to restore the normal, but to be aware of the delightful new what is. One day, we will be able to do some of the things we miss and be in buildings without masks and have big parties. But that time isn't now. This is the time of radiant new beginnings. We open to what can be. and embrace our creative God.